And uh, thank you, Cathy Rook. Um, <clears throat> and Minister, you're welcome back. And I do thank you for coming in. But I want to, want to put it on the public record. The failure of the Taoiseach to answer this question yesterday, when you were sent into bed again, and indeed the failure of the Minister for Health to come into this House and deal with this most crucial issue. Last Friday, myself and the Oireachtas members for the Roscommon Galway constituency met with Tony Canavan of the HSC in Roscommon Town, where it was indicated to us that the Rosalie Centre in Castlery was closed in a short period of time. This despite the fact that you, Minister, had previously indicated that no decision would be made until clinical assessments had been reviewed. My fellow Oireachtas colleague, Minister Nocton, also issued a statement in June which indicates that the HSE has had confirmed that the Rosalie facility will continue to form part of the service delivery of health care in the Roscommon area and that if any change of use should arise from its current use, it will be done in consultation with the public representatives and relevant stakeholders for the area, quote unquote. Well, where is the real consultation? Have the clinical assessments been reviewed? We have been stonewalled time and time again by the HSE and the Minister in relation to this unit in Castlery. But I want to tell you here this evening, Minister, this issue is not going away. And bring that back to Minister Harris and the Taoiseach. And as we speak this evening, major plans for a public meeting which will probably attract 500 people into Castlery next Monday night are being put in place. And they are going to send a clear message about the Rosalie unit. And neither the people of Castlery or I as one of the public representatives are going away on this issue. We in Roscommon are one of the highest percentages of older people in the country. We are also one of the highest incidence of Alzheimer's per head of population in County Roscommon. So the Rosalie unit should be a vital part of our mental health services in the county. Most of the residents of the Rosalie unit suffer from Alzheimer's disease or dementia and they are unsettled about their future. And they've said it to me. They're upset and they're worried. It is totally unfair. It is not acceptable. This matter is not going away. And by the way, for the other members who are in this house, I know that Deputy Penrose in, in no castle really well, but for Deputy Ferris and others that are around, this is not a broken down centre. This is a fantastic centre. Excellent, excellent care, excellent people. These people are happy, and their happiness is being taken away. I'll hand over to Deputy Butler at this stage. Minister, I was also very disappointed to hear about the announced closure of the Rosalie unit in County Roscommon, which cares for psychiatric patients, including those with Alzheimer's disease and dementia. As you know, a recent mapping exercise was carried out by the Department of Health and the ASI to look at the level of dementia care available to our citizens. The results made for very disappointing reading throughout the country, and I do accept, Minister, that you have inherited these services, and I acknowledge your work to date on dementia. But today I look specifically at the services available in Roscommon to see exactly how many people have dementia and why these beds would be taken from the system. 614 people are at home with dementia in Roscommon, with 1,842 carers. So, I received a PQ there recently from the department when I, when I questioned this. The Rosalie Centre has not had any new admissions since September 2016, so a decision to um, wind it down has been taken uh, two years ago. So I'll, I'll wait for the latter, latter part now to continue. Uh, uh, Cahir, I would like to thank uh, Deputy Murphy and indeed Deputy Butler for the opportunity to provide some clarity and background and context to this issue. First of all, can I just take I suppose, some, uh, a moment to highlight the announcement. The announced closure by the Government and the HC of the Rosalie Unit is the title of this topical issue. Uh, certainly, I can speak completely authoritatively on behalf of the Government. There has been no announced closure of Rosalie Unit, and there certainly hasn't by the HSE either. The Rosalie Unit, part of Oris Nave Killon, is located in Castlery County, Roscommon, and as the Deputy knows, it's a facility I know uh, all too well. I have been there and I've met with each and every one of the residents, I've met with their families, and I've met with the public representatives and the management of this facility, and uh, I've met with the representatives numerous, on numerous occasions in regarding to this. There are currently 12 residents in the unit. The HSE has not announced the closure of the Rose Alley unit. 
And can I just put that on the record and hope it will, that it will uh, sink in? The unit has been closed to new admissions since the 27th of September 2016. The issues of continuing to best meet the needs of the residents in an appropriate and safe environment and the future use of the unit have been the subject of recent meetings by me with Heroctis and local representatives and the HSE. In order to ensure that the best interests of the residents are accommodated, the HSE recently completed a clinical assessment of each resident, including engagement with families. Following completion of the clinical assessment process, the HSE asked the College of Psychiatrists to independently review the process and the outcome. This should be completed within a short time, and the HSE will then inform me of the outcome of the clinical assessment process regarding best care options for residents and furnish a report on Rosalie. Rosalie. No decision yet has been taken by the HSE on the future of Rosalie. The HSE Chief Officer has confirmed in writing to me that it is the intention that it continue as a healthcare facility in the future. The nature of this, uh, whether continued use in its present form or some other use, will be informed by the clinical assessment outcome. The HSE has confirmed that any changes to mental health services in the area will be in line with the vision for change. Uh, I understand that the Chief Officer of CH02, which covers the Roscommon area, recently met with local representatives and also spoke to the local media, where he indicated the intention of the HSE to cease services at St Joseph's Mental Health Day Centre in Balahedrine. I further understand that this decision has been taken in the context of implementing the recommendations of the report of the mental health services in Roscommon. The decision to close this centre and provide alternative day centres, day services to the current attendees, has only been taken after detailed consideration of the needs of all the individuals involved. In conclusion, can I reiterate that no decision has yet been taken in relation to the Rosalie unit. I await receipt in due course from the HSE the outcome of the clinical assessment process for the unit. This will help inform the best care options for the residents and its future use as a healthcare facility. So to, in conclusion, if I may, Cahir, just to be absolutely and abundantly clear to the deputies opposite and to those who are watching who have an interest in this facility. Admission ceased to this facility two years ago in September 2016. There are 12 remaining residents there. I have to, as Minister with responsibility for that area, in both areas, mental health and older people, have to ensure that their needs are best met. If a clinician does say to me, somebody who is qualified in medical, says to me that their, best, their needs are best cared for in an alternative setting, because this is a psychiatric setting, these patients have got older now, and many of them, their needs are geriatric, and they may need to be in a social care nursing home setting type setting that they would be at reserved. If a clinician says that to me, I have to listen. I can't railroad through. However, my commitment has always been, and I've been very consistent to the future of this unit, to continue to play a vital role in the provision of services in the Roscommon area for this unit. So there is no talk from the government or from the HSE of closure of this unit. One minute each. Minister, I want to say again, your work on this has been you know, upfront, and you have constantly met with us. But I'm not reassured by what you're saying here this evening, because I sat at a meeting with, official, with an official who said it was a decision in the review to close it, but, as you correctly said, they were asking a psychiatrist or psychologist independently to look at it. But the reality is the unit is gone, and I haven't much time here. But you there, in the last 30 seconds of what you were saying to us, said, you know, patients' needs will be better met in such and such a regime. I totally disagree with that, where these people have been well looked after, where they trust the people that's there, where they're close to their families. You're interfering with their happiness. You're making them unhappy. I'm not saying you. So I have serious issues with these assessments and the way they're done. Really have. And I don't like what's happening. That's as much time as I have today. I would, in conclusion, I'd say one thing. When the present Taoiseach was Minister for Health, he committed that this unit would not be closed. And I have a letter to that effect. And I'm asking that that be honoured. And if some changes have to be made at the centre, so be it. Do not take those people out of there. Please, I urge you, I beg you, and use whatever influence and power you can to ensure that does not happen. Uh, Minister, if I could, the HSC Chief Officer has confirmed in writing to you that it is the intention that it continues as a healthcare facility in the future. But I suppose exactly what kind of a healthcare facility is, is, is the nub of the question here. The PQ I received on the 24th of May stated quite clearly 
Currently, there are no long-term plans for the Rosalie Centre. The centre has not had any new admissions since September 2016. It is not proposed to reopen the unit to new admissions. And I'd also like to point out there are 18 members of staff working there also, and they have to be considered in this too. Gaurav Minister, two minutes. Okay. To... Uh, thank you, and, and can thank the deputies. And you, you raised there, Deputy Murphy, the issue of the, independent, or the clinical review that you don't trust it. Unfortunately, it isn't in my gift to override a, clinic, a clinician's decision. We have to go with the word of the medical uh, authority that decides this. But to assuade any fears people have, we have asked, at my invitation I asked the HSE, to ask the College of Psychiatry to do an independent review of the decision, in case anybody thinks that there's any reason here behind closed doors any decision we take. There is absolutely none. This is the best needs of the current residents. That's first and foremost my priority. The future use of that unit is also a top priority for me. I have been very, very consistent and so has the, the Taoiseach when he was Minister for Health, so has my predecessor been very, very consistent that this unit will continue to provide care for people in the area and provide to play a vital role. But the existing residents, if clinicians tell me that their care is better served elsewhere, well then we have to deal with that as well. So there are two separate issues. They are not tied together. Just because the existing residents, some of whom may be moved to another better facility, no more than it could be my mum or dad in the morning if they are diagnosed with dementia and somebody says to me they have to go out to their own home that they have known for the last 50 years and go to a better facility where they are better cared for, then we have to do that. Nobody likes it. Nobody wants to do it. But I don't have the authority to write over or overwrite any clinician and tell them that I know better than they do. And with respect, no politician has. So we have to respect the clinical judgment appropriate to each individual resident of the unit. But my commitment is absolute to the future use of this unit. We are not in a space where we can afford to be closing beds. We are not in a space where we have such huge demand for social care beds. We have huge demand for acute beds. We have huge demand for, as you know, later life issues. We have so much demand for beds in, a, in this system today. So that is not a conversation I'm willing to entertain with anybody is the closure of these beds, but I do have to look after the best needs of the residents, and that is separate to the future use, and I want to have that conversation with the public representatives. And with the public representatives and involve them in the future use of this facility that we will commit to and we will ensure that it continues in the high regard it has to date to continue in that vein in the most appropriate use possible. Thank you, Minister.